Yo YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately today I am the bearer of some bad news. Yeah, you guessed it, Guilty Gear Strive has been delayed yet again and this time another two months so we're not going to be able to get his hands on this thing until June now. Disappointed, yes, because I want to play the game so much. However, I would rather play something that is finished and they are completely with us happy getting our hands on. I don't think there is anything wrong these days with things getting delayed to making sure it's better. And as Arc System Works have proven with Guilty Gear so far and the development of this game, they are really listening to the community and they are listening to the fans. They're listening to all the feedback what's been given since the alpha. And now after the beta, which was dropped a couple of weekends ago, they have released this statement. Dear customers, we have made the tough decision to move the release date of Guilty Gear Strive, previously planned for April 9th, 2021, to June the 11th, 2021. Since we have received valuable feedback after the recent open beta test, we would like to make the most of this opportunity to provide the best game possible. Amen. We need extra time to polish some aspects of the game, such as the online lobbies and server stability. We believe it best to use the extra time to improve the game's quality and provide a better experience to all our players. Thank you for your patience and understanding the Guilty Gear development team. Now, as I said previously, I have no problem with this whatsoever. Um, the beat dropped a couple of weekends ago. I was really gutted because unfortunately me and the team were gearing up that weekend to do the 24-hour uh, uh, charity stream for mental health, which was fantastic, by the way. Unfortunately... It was the weekend, the beta, the beta they dropped this uh, for Guilty Gear Strive, so I didn't actually get a chance to play all the changes they made to it and, and see for myself what I thought about the game. However, I have caught up with a lot of streamers who I watch, a lot of YouTubers who I watch. I've seen their reactions and things like that. And it did seem apparent, after myself playing the alpha, I had a massive issue with the lobby system. Now, from what I picked up from what, happened in the beta the lobby system is still absolute ass and trash uh you spend you spent far too long in a lobby looking for a game i wasn't too keen on the whole hood uh ai sort of aspect of it how you met the two characters now don't get me wrong in two months of them delaying this game they are you're not going to get all that scrapped they're not going to say mm, nobody likes this lobby system so we're just going to create an entire new one that is not going to be the case yeah you're still going to get the same interface but what will it but i think what will happen is it will actually work and it will work good uh, and from what they're saying in this again why i think it's great and i think it holds a lot of promise for the future of uh, guilty gear strive they are listening to the community People have obviously gone back and said, you know, they've read things, they've watched videos, they've listened to the feedback where people have obviously said the lobby system is still trash, you need to sort it out. Because if you want in, let's let's face it, this is their baby. It's going to be the first triple A fighting game franchise on next gen console. So, you know, if they're wanting people to still be playing this a year down the line when they're bringing out the season passes, new characters, bits and bobs it's got to be right and i think that's more really what they're aiming for and you know as a consumer a player a content creator a streamer that's all you want you want the game to play as good as it can be and it looks like they as they have done all the way through the process like i said uh it looks like they're really listening the good thing i did pick up from watching everything from the videos what everybody was doing is that the uh, netcode what they've implemented their version of the rollback netcode uh, apparently works fantastic uh, they have stated in here that they're still working on server stability so I haven't read anything more about that so they're obviously having a few issues behind the scenes with servers and things like that but hey look it's another two months and it's just more, another two months to build up the anticipation of looking forward to playing this game I think that now when it comes out it is going to be a totally polished version for look from what I've seen no one has any gripes about hardly about the gameplay everyone's loving it uh, I myself thought that the gameplay, um, uh, the visuals and everything like that, which obviously are some of the main things what people attract people to fighting games, I thought they were absolutely spot on in the alpha, let alone the beta. Uh, so, you know, it, it's just great that they're showing that they are listening. And hopefully uh, June 11th, 2021, we'll be here playing some Guilty Gear Strive. The only th the only bummer about this is, in the two months, are they going to have time to work out crossplay? 
if they do i'll be a little bit gutted because i wouldn't have bought it on the playstation i would have bought it on steam uh, and still have the availability to play console players the reason i bought it on the ps uh, on the ps version was so that obviously you're going to get a lot bigger play, uh, player base to, to go up against as opposed to you know pcs they're not really known for the fighters um so i will be a little bit gutted about that but june the 11th 2021 where it seems to me like we're going to have a really good final version of what guilty gear strive is and can be and i think the future's looking really good for arc system works and this particular franchise going forward uh, i mean it's it's a massive franchise for them um but here we go into next gen and pc playing the new guilty gear and i think it's going to be great so for everything guilty gear guys you know what to do hit the subscribe button Hit the little notification bell to make sure that you get notified when all videos go live. And hopefully we'll see you back soon for some more Guilty Gear Strive. See you on the next one, guys. Peace.